Bully fam, bully fam. Bully world. Peace, blessings, prosperity to all you guys, man. Give me some motherfucking... Give me some motherfucking news I can use, man. I gotta stop cursing on these eyes, man. I'm wilding here. I ain't gonna say wilding, but it is what it is. YouTube already hating on me. I can't read certain comments, so... Once again, let me start off this video by saying YouTube be disabling my comments. So if I don't see a comment or what have you, man, just reach out to me via social media, IG at uh, underscore Bonyard underscore Bully Camp underscore LLC or something like that. I put it in the description. But Bonyard Bully Camp LLC is two Bonyard Bully Camps. One is me, but the other one I'm more active on. Make sure that you uh, follow the one with the LLC on it. You feel me? I'm more active on that one. The other one, I ain't really active on that joint. I hear cruising through the time. You know what I'm talking about? See, they active. They active out here today. But yeah, um, man, so much been going on. But um, yeah, I sold the black pup the other day. I meant the uh. I meant to uh, shoot another video, but I got tied up, man. It was my born day, et cetera, et cetera, uh, Saturday. Sold a pup Friday when I posted the video. Got up out of here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got this other uh, black male. He's up for sale, but I tell you, I get them ears clipped. I think he gonna be a force to reckon with. This man humping already, like, he ain't 10 weeks old and he humping, you see what I'm saying? He got to pass on them genetics. He know what his job is. And, and when they doing stuff like that, hey, man, that's a good sign. Like, he already humping and bumping. Like, he ain't doing no faking, no shaking. He humping and dumping. Like, he, I don't know if you guys seen the video. He got, yeah, he humping on his brother. And they acting like a Targaryen around this motherfucker. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going uh, to get it. If I get his ears clipped, price is going up for sure. But, once I get his ears clipped, I can't say I'm going to sell him either. I get his ears clipped, I might let him chill. Because he looking good, too. I can't front. He black and white, but he looking good. Anybody who know Bob Reed know what them black dogs be doing. You know what I'm saying? And and look here, I don't... Man, I, I'm not a... I, I'm selling color. You feel me? I'm selling color. But, bro, look... This is why I'm selling color. Let me tell you guys something, man. And uh, shouts to the homie Burner, man, if you're watching this video, man. Look, for you up and coming camps, these guys be quick to say, oh, you get color in two breedings. That's nothing. You get color in two breedings. I'm after that structure. I want that structure. You get that structure. You can add color in two breedings. That may be true. But listen, what I'm doing, yeah. I already got somewhat of the structure that I want. You see what I'm saying? By way of my micros, I already got uh already got the color I want. However, what a lot of these guys is, are not telling you about, yeah, you you don't color ain't nothing. You ain't gotta worry about color. Ooh, 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 ooh. What a lot of these guys ain't telling you from the get-go is if color was that easy to motherfucking breed in. They'd already have these lilac tries, these chocolate tried dogs, etc., etc., looking how they want. A lot of these guys saying that they don't have that structure that they want. And they're still running around here chasing that lilac try. You chasing the lilac try? Why is it so hard when it's only two breedings away? It's only two breedings away. So what I got going on, I'm not chasing lilac try. I'm actually a, a, a big heavy structure type dude why you think my fat joe son is brindle yeah yeah that 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 boy there is a uh, lilac brindle you feel me yeah he's a lilac brindle you go only the breeders of all breeders are gonna breed to that dog because he's a lilac he's a brindle for one and uh but he's lilac and he carries the tri gene but see he only carries like one copy of the tri gene the, my black dog that I'm selling, my black female that I'm selling, she carries more tri than that lilac brindle that I got. So, of course, you breed a dog with one copy of, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, 
he probably got about seven or eight different copies of uh of 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 try they got lilac try they got blue try you see the blue try boy yeah he came up out of he came up out of sprayway nuts in a big way you know what i'm saying yeah so so the black pups they carry blue try the black pups they carry uh lilac try the uh the black pups they carry uh chocolate try look at the daddy they can and that's just three copies we talking about that's just three copies right there you know what i'm saying three different copies we ain't gonna get into all the other stuff that they carry they carry purple try my next litter is gonna carry purple try y'all ain't even heard of that y'all new breeders <laughs> yeah not all of you guys i know the experienced breeders heard of purple try yeah my next litter is about to carry purple try yeah shout out to league uh league what is it uh league cam i'm gonna just say league cam who the own the who own candy man i talked to him personally i asked him because i would see pictures of candy man and i'd be like yo what kind of uh what I, I hit him up i was like yo what color is candy man what color is he or what color was he oh he a purple tribe yeah yeah so my next litter my next litter is gonna carry purple tribe might even produce one because i'm quite sure that uh the black pups uh all, all the pups off the litter i just had carry it you see what i'm saying so might even have one but i know for shit show i i don't think this litter was sassy i don't think it's gonna be a big litter to be honest which i think it's only gonna be two maybe three pups in or everything if it's two or three pups i'm keeping all of them i'm keeping all of them unless you come in with that bag and when i say bag i'm meaning like 4k or better because i already know that breeding is gonna be something that's gonna reproduce those puppies right there are gonna be of show quality and and they're gonna really be of some nice 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 shit uh, they're gonna be show quality what they what they produce i can't really say i can't really say if you know how to breed you'll know what to do with them i say that much but i can't really say I can't really say, but I do know that they will be of show quality. I do know that. I do know you will be able to pull up in that show ring, sit down, and walk away with a trophy with them. And, and they ain't even born yet, and I'm telling you that. I know that. If it's one puppy, look here. That single ten going to be so fire. You feel me? But um, anyway, back to what I was saying. The black pups that I'm selling do not sleep on them if you're an up and coming camp looking to add color this is what i was gonna say if you're an up and coming camp or even just an established camp looking to add color these would be the the pups that you want like my man was saying um burner shout out to uh cookie cookie burner he would not want to and when he said it was dope i was like yeah that makes sense and that's what i'm doing but i wasn't doing it consciously he was like, man, people say you can add color easily, which is true. However, I wouldn't want to come up with the structure that I have and the structure that I want, then go back to paint it, and I lose on the physique. I lose on the structure. Because a lot of times when it comes to breeding for structure, et cetera, et cetera, you're going to actually you're gonna lose a, a little bit unless the uh dna is really really heavy on what you're breeding you see what i'm saying really really heavy you see what i'm saying unless you really really did some some strong inbreeding and even then you're gonna lose a little bit you know what i'm saying now how much you'll lose that's gonna be on you as a breeder but it made a lot of sense what he said why go through all that on the back end adding color when you could just go ahead and start out with color and then from there build on to your uh uh build on to your structure Th incorporate your structure in that way everything with your structure even if it, it lacks the color it still carries the color and and that's like the smartest advice you can give anybody starting out fresh breeding. 
Hold on one second. Let me get the ATM. Hold on one second. Check in. But it, it makes perfect sense. If you're just starting out breeding, if you're just starting out breeding, right, you got about three, four dogs, and you know eventually you're going to want to go ahead and add color to your camp. Do it now. Don't wait till later. Don't try and stand on on that real um, real breeder breedable structure. Real breeder breedable structure. Because you never know. You really might hit off the rip. I'm gonna tell you something about. I'm gonna tell you guys something about. And listen, let me tell you guys something about. I I was not expecting. This is how strong the the color genetics and my boy Sprayway is. And yeah, Sprayway is closed to the public. But um, let me tell you how strong my boy Sprayway Sprayway's color genetics are. Man, I took this dog Sprayway to the black and white Busachi. You know, if you know about Busachi, you already know. I got a black and white tick Busachi granddaughter. She's black, white, and tick. Man, she would she would throw that tick all over everything. You let her. You don't know what you're doing. But anyway, so I was not. I was honestly expecting all black and white. I it was a structure breeding for me. You see what I'm saying? It was really a structure breeding. Lo and behold, I pretty boy is in her pet, right? Pretty boy. If you gotta know anything about pretty boy, pretty boy was a black tribe black tribe pretty boy was but he was like six seven generations back sprayway reached down in that motherfucking yeah, come here give me that sprayway color genetics reached down and, yeah, he reached deep down in that pit give me that give me that you know what i'm saying he got that boom i'm still lost to as where the blue tribe came from i didn't see any of that in the pit Breach down in there. Give me that. Give me that. He pulled the blue truck. I said, God damn. That's how strong those genetics are. Those that's how strong sprayways are. That's how this is my first. I, I ain't on front. This is my first litter with any tries in it. And this was the first litter I was just I was really just breeding for structure. And so now I'm, I know, and I'm capable. Hold on, I know, and I see what my boy can throw as far as color wise. If I, if I'd have took him to any other color, man, if I'd have took him to another, let's say chocolate tri dog or lilac tri, without a doubt, they would have been all that. They would have been all lilac tries, all chocolate tries, and I ain't really trying to just go on and on about this color, but it's like. I want you new breeders and, and you people who really don't know much about breeding because I'm I'm a student of this uh bully I'm a student of this uh I'm a student of this uh bully breeding thing. I'm striving to learn something every day. Every day on this bully shit, I'm striving to learn something. So don't get it twisted. But from what I've learned and what I see, I don't get into embark and all that right now. I'm not doing all that. I'm not breeding Frenchies. I got Frenchies, but I'm not breeding them right now. And I'm not getting into all that. Because I, I, I told you I'm really a structure type dude. You see what I'm saying? But my boy, uh, I'm just saying, don't sleep, man. Don't sleep on these black ones. You want some tri -kid. Even if you, even if, let's say you bought one of these black uh, pups. And you run your structure through them. They're going to still be heavy tri carries. Even if you don't get a try, they still might. Then when you take them to something visual, it might be a whole lot different. You feel me? But, um, yeah, tap in. I still got two pups available, man. One black and white female. One black male, which I might keep, man. I ain't even going to hold you. Blessings. Likes. Of, 